My name is Sully Bonelli and I am the curator for um, the traditional Mexican costumes for the collection. Um, we have here a um, few representation of what Frida may have worn. Um, in some cases, like this first one here, Frida had uh, her own ideas of how to put things together. And a lot of the skirts were done by her or her mother with fabrics that she bought um, somewhere else, it could be in silks or, and always adding at the bottom the ruffle that is traditional Mexican Tijuana skirts have. But a lot of them uh, we have reproduced to represent a, an idea of what Frida uh, wore. Um, we also have um, a lot of the, from the time of Frida, the, some costumes that are for the Tijuana dress, which is the traditional skirt with the ruffle, white ruffle at the bottom, and the embroidery. So, uh, on the head, we have uh, what is called the rodete. In the case, Frida sort of adapt a rodete into her hair. So it's yarn with hair that she did. Uh, we have kind of reproduced um, some of the styles that she did. There are different kinds of embroideries and most of the um, the costumes come from Oaxaca, which is a, a Tijuana dress. Frida did that um, at the suggestion of Diego, I believe, um, just to cover her legs, which she had a, a, a boot because she had originally um, had some medical issues and, uh, and, and it became a style, became her style. In some of the things that we see here, um, in Mexico, the traditional, the, the ladies um, in the country do not really wear the tunics with these kinds of skirt, but Frida did because that was her own, adapting her own, um, for, for her own needs. And she wanted it to be very Mexican, that's why they're very colorful, and always with the necklaces and the headpieces and the rebosos, which is the shawls. And that's basically the collection that we're showing you today.